All right, it's time to give the babies and really all the goats on the farm the CDT shot. You can get it from your local farm store. This helps fight against diseases that they get when they're overeating, and this also includes a tetanus within it. And you can give this to goats and sheep. You can get your syringes and needles at the farm store too. I'm gonna use uh, these ones that have a 22 gauge, which is the smallest gauge needle you can get. And it's just three quarter inch long. Um, and I'm doing that with the babies. With the moms, I use the 20 gauge and I don't really mind if it's a three quarter inch or a one inch long. Um, you just make sure that you're not gonna shove it through too far because then you're just gonna see your vaccine come out the other end. This is can be done intramuscularly, so right into their muscle, or you can do it subcutaneously. That's not a muscle, by the way, I just went in there. Um, or you can do it subcutaneously, which is the way I'm gonna do it. It's the way my vets have showed me how, and so it's what I'm most comfortable with. Oops, I just forgot the needle. At least I know the needles can come off. So in between every goat, you want a new clean needle, and you can pop them off just like that. You can use the same syringe as long as you're using that same vaccine, but you do want a clean needle every time. You do not want to stick a needle back in here. That wasn't clean. You just do a two milliliter. This is one that holds three, which is good because you always want to go a little past it because it's going to pull back on you. Um, and you want to make sure that you get a full two milliliter dose on them. So there's two milliliter. Then you pull it out so it doesn't suck any back in. You do this dose at six to eight weeks and then three weeks later, you're gonna do another dose. So we're gonna grab our first goat here. You're gonna get some skin on them. And basically you're gonna make like a little triangle with their skin. There we go. You'll feel that there's kind of a triangle in between where you're pinching. You're gonna aim for the center of it. And again, you're just trying to get right under the skin. Whoops, come here, buddy. We'll hold them in between me. So you're gonna, again, pinch up that skin. You're gonna get right in there in the midst of that little triangle there. Once you get in, you just push it in and pull it out. They're not all as squirmy as that. You'll notice that the babies will be maybe a little bit sleepy. Uh, with my adults, I don't ever notice anything anymore. Um, but the babies, I do notice that they'll just lay down and sometimes get a little almost like loopy or uh, sleepy, which is actually why it's really good if you're going to band your boys to do it the same day you give va vaccines. These boys are at seven weeks old. I am going to band them for our client. Uh, in three weeks when they get their booster shots. So again, they'll get this same dose again in three weeks. And because it makes them a little bit loopy, as you can kind of see when he's walking around, um, it's a good time to band them because then they're not really focused on the fact that they just got banded. Okay, so we're gonna do our adult vaccines now. Again, it's that same CDT vaccine. And for the adults, I'm going to go ahead and use the 20 gauge, one inch. Um, there's a ton of syringes in this pack or needles in this pack. Again, you can use the same syringe for everybody if it's the same vaccine, but you want to get a different needle every time. And they just screw on the tops of these. So you take off that bottom there and then it screws right onto the top of that. And this one does hold six milliliters. Again, as long as it's more than the two milliliters that you have to get out, that's what you want. I'm gonna take it up past that too. Let it suck back in a little. I have that. So she's eaten, doing good. Again, you're gonna pinch and you go for a big flap of skin. I'm gonna go into that little triangle area there push in do it maggie hardly notice you go out some people always rub in say that that like pushes it in more but she gets it in either way and that's as easy as it is a lot easier than kids who squirm a bit